Some people say that talents are in the genes, and for Karen Helmstead, this seems to be true. Competitive swimming has been something of a Helmstead tradition. Her father was a competitive swimmer in East Germany and later at the University of New Brunswick where he was a grad student. When the Kingston Y advertised a summer competitive swim program for $12 for the entire summer, Karen and her younger brother Brent were enrolled. It seemed like a good deal, since Dad could also get involved. The program was fun and the foundation for a future competitive swimming career was laid. Karen's initial inspiration came from Nancy Garapik, who was a world-class backstroker for Canada when she began swimming in 1978. In 1983, she attended her first national championship and finaled in the 200 and 400 IM. The following year, her performances earned her national karting. During the 1985 season, as a member of the University of Toronto varsity team, she traveled to a variety of meets in Europe as well as the World Student Games in Kobe, Japan. Karen earned a spot on the 1986 Commonwealth Games as well as the World Championship team and was a finalist at both. At CIAUs that year, she won the 800 free in record time, came second in the 200 and 400 IM and was a member of the first place 4x200 free relay. 1987 proved to be a banner year for Karen. Not only did she win two gold and three silver medals at CIAUs, but she also earned bronze in both the 200 and 400 IM at the Pan American Games. After, she was named CIAU Female Athlete of the Year as well as Kingston's Amateur Athlete of the Year. Karen continued many swimming successes in 1988 and was awarded the Angus Erskine Memorial Award for Excellence in Academics and Athletics. In 1989, Karen joined Can Natation in southern France and anchored the gold medal 4x200 free relay at the French Nationals. In 1991, she became a member of the CS Cliche Natation, the top women's club in France, and remained there until 1995 while attending the Sorbonne in Paris. After 18 years in the sport and the birth of her son Tristan, Karen decided to turn her attention to journalism. In 1993, while studying at the Sorbonne, she wrote an article about the sudden and alarming rise of the Chinese female swimmers, warning that we could be in for the same kind of domination we had seen in the 1970s and 80s from the drug-powered East German East Bloc women. It was published by Nick Theory in what was then called Swim Canada magazine. Nick was only too happy to provide a forum for critical coverage of the sport, and that article was the beginning of a long and productive relationship that provided the basis for Karen's later career. As a journalist for SWIM, which later became SWIM News, Karen covered the 1994 World Aquatic Championships, the 1995 Pan Ams, the 1995 Pan Pax, the 1996 Olympic Games, the 1997 European Swimming Championships, the 1998 World Aquatic Championships, and the first ever World Anti-Doping Conference in 1999. By the 1994 World Championships in Rome, the predicted Chinese takeover proved to be a harsh reality, and Karen was part of a small corps of anti-doping swimming journalists who put continual pressure on FINA to curb another totalitarian push for athletic prowess. During this time, she had also begun to research what had actually gone on in the former East German sports system, so revered by so many Canadian coaches. Traveling there to meet and interview former swimmers and doping victims, publishing many articles on the country's state-sponsored drug system. This work was recognized in September of 2000 with the ASCA Media Award by the American Swim Coaches Association. This award was given for dedication and perseverance to the pursuit of truth in exposing the national doping program in East Germany and the irreparable harm done to thousands of athletes and the sport of swimming. Karen's next career stop was becoming a moderator at a variety of swimming events throughout France. She was the press officer for FINA at the Swimming World Cup in 1997. And that same year, she co-authored the documentary film Staatsgeheimnis Kinderdoping for German public television on the doping of minor athletes in the former East Germany. The film won several awards and was sold to 10 countries. A follow-up book, Anklage Kinderdoping, was published in Berlin by Tenya Verlag in 1999, to which Karen was also a contributor. In 1998, Karen moved to Berlin and started work at Germany's international broadcaster, Deutsche Welle Television. By 1999, she was working on camera, and today she is the host of Euromax, their flagship magazine on European culture and lifestyle. In 2007, Karen was inducted into the Kingston and District Sports Hall of Fame, followed by induction into the University of Toronto Sports Hall of Fame in 2010. Some of Karen's fondest memories go way back, 
to when she was still living in Kingston and the entire family was involved in swimming. Mum, Audrey, and Dad, Herbert, spent untold hours driving kids, officiating at meets, volunteering as board members at the swim club, and doing all the things swimming parents should do. Her best friends were fellow teammates, and hot summer days were inevitably spent at the lake, at least a kilometer from shore, all the kids in such good shape that they never seemed to get tired. Both her brothers later swam for the University of Calgary Dinosaurs, and her mother is still active in the sport to this day, trying valiantly to get a 50-meter pool built in the Kingston area. Karen is married to Robert Storm, a molecular biologist from Berlin. They have two children, Tristan, age 15, and Sapphire, who is three years old. In her spare time, Karen is also a singer and songwriter for a Berlin pop-folk duo. She loves to cook and eat, and hailing from Kingston, her favorite place to be in the water is right in the middle of a lake. The Ontario Aquatic Hall of Fame is proud to induct Karen Helmstad as an athlete and a builder. He'll make it big someday. Go on and take.